Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a new video. So today's video is on Xbox Game Pass. So the first thing I wanna do is just quickly compare it to PlayStation. So PlayStation allows you to do the same thing and play a catalog of games through a subscription and you can stream them. The difference between what Xbox done and I really do like it is you don't always have, you don't have to only stream, but you can also download them and keep them as long as you hold a subscription, which is pretty lit. Which brings me on to the second thing. Let's just say you decided that you didn't want to keep the service anymore, but you wanted to pick, like, keep a particular game that you were playing. You can because Xbox allows you a 20% discount and you can buy it and keep the game. So that's pretty lit. The next thing is there are more than 100 games and there will be five games cycled in every single month. But let's just say they also wanted to get rid of a game because it was popular or something that a lot of people weren't playing it. They'll give you a one month notice beforehand. So that's pretty cool. It's good to know that they care. The next thing I want to talk about is that this is going to be Xbox 360 backward compatible games and Xbox One games as well. And obviously, you can cancel at any time. So I believe it's $9.99 in the US and it's about $10.99 in Australia, which is where I live. If you guys enjoyed that, smash the like button down below and tell me if you guys are going to get it, if you're not, what you think about it and subscribe for more content.